Your Modesty versus the Bible will shock my modesty. Hyper-religious Christians cannot really accept the Bible as it reads, so they just ignore some passages. This is by Mr. Peace Key. Offended by a word? Well, in talking about the Bible with some Christians, you might do okay if you just go with the flow. But if you bring up a thought or use a word or a phrase that they believe is not religiously or politically correct, or if you dare try to press a point, they will immediately think you are being immodest, out of line, or are just being downright vulgar. From that point on, for all intents and purposes, that is the end of any meaningful conversation. God's judgment. The meek shall then increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel, for both the terrible ones and the scorners are consumed, and all those who watch ever so closely for iniquity are cut off. They had made a man an offender for a word and tried to lay a snare for the judge that reproved in the gate and would put down the truly righteous on a false charge. Isaiah 29, 19, 21, and that is a paraphrase. Christ's own words were checked closely. Then the Pharisees left and took counsel that they might entangle him in words. Matthew 22, 15. And as Jesus said these things to them, the scribes and Pharisees became terribly angry and tried to get him to talk about many things, lying in ambush and trying to catch him saying something they could accuse him over. Luke 11, 53-54. Christ's answers still fit. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. Matthew 22, 15. But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Ooh, bad word, hypocrites. Matthew 22, 18. The same day the Sadducees came to him would say that there is no resurrection and ask him about it, Matthew 22, 23. Jesus answered and said unto them, You do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God, Matthew 22, 29. On down, God is not the God of the dead, but of the living, Matthew 22, 32. Vulgar language? It used to be taught that the Bible was written in a special holy language that was only used by the scribes. It has since been found that the Bible was actually written in the common language of the people. Still, and this is very common, you will be said to be using vulgar language if you use some of the very same words or phrases that are used in the Bible. Now here is a short list. Now these terms were applied to specific people, so please do not be offended. Whore, sodomite, snake, viper, child of the devil, Satan, dog, hypocrite. Well, the Bible also uses picturesque or graphic phrases that describe acts and body parts that now among most Christians are considered very vulgar, filthy. But today, just quoting a verse can get you in trouble. Supposedly righteous, Christians commonly hold people to some form of hyper-religiousness that portrays everyday common language and activities as being evil. Oh, do not argue ever. Hmm. 
do they read their Bible? Then the Christian community will very often make allowances for outright evil activities as being nothing more than just someone being human. In addition, on the other side, religious leaders can be quickly excused for their immoral actions. Christ and Paul. They both lauded the law of Moses. Let me read that again. They both lauded the law of Moses. But now it is said that it was done away with in Christ, and for the most part it is ignored. Ignorant theologians scratch the people's back by failing to make a difference between the erroneous laws the Sadducees and the Pharisees taught and the basic righteous laws that Moses taught. John the Baptist, Christ himself, and the apostles clearly laid out the problem and the law of Moses was not it. The Jews erroneously believed they were in simply because they were the children of Abraham. They also did not stop with the law of Moses. They added hundreds and more and thought they could save themselves by obeying them, which is impossible. That is the point, not that we do not have to obey God. Presentation. Well, the attitude and the manner in which the message of the New Testament was preached is ignored. If someone tells a Christian they must do something and tries to give them the scriptures and the reasons why, it makes them sick. Thank God they have quit burning people at the stake. Now, the history of Christianity is filled with outspoken reformers, starting with John the Baptist and Christ. Irrelevant? Well, the Old Testament contains many adages and commandments that are now ignored. In most Christian communities, the fact that Christ and his apostles quoted them extensively is still ignored. In essence, it is now being taught that they no longer have any bearing on a Christian's walk, especially the way the prophets openly denounced the wicked acts of Israel and listed them. Bad, bad, terrible, politically incorrect, ill-mattered. Now we have this. Divorce and suicide are more prevalent among proficient Christians than non-Christians. Pornography among Christians is sickening and rampant and has been traced by their credit card usage. That's a fact. Now, we strain at gnats, but we'll turn and swallow camels. Now, this is the end of this presentation. May God bless you, and he will if you will stand for the truth. Thank God you're not like this.